Welcome to Bus of Speakers. I'm Kush. And I'm Alex. And today we're viewing The Painter's EP by Animal Collective. Now, Animal Collective are like the psychedelic pop, baroque pop type group uh, who have been around since 2003 and they have made like really, really successful albums. So uh, there's been like Strawberry Jam, I think it's probably their most favorite album. Merryweather Post Pavilion oh, is pretty big. Yeah, that one. That one's pretty big as well. So, I think uh, they they've really defined a name for themselves. They really put their music out there, and people have been loving it. So I was kind of surprised. I, I didn't know anything about this EP coming out until Alex sent me a message saying, "Oh, there's an EP out. We should review it." And I'm like, "Yeah, sure." I, I it love, came out of nowhere, kind of. Yeah, I love I love Animal Collective. I, I've always enjoyed their music, even their less less popular music i've enjoyed that and right i'm and i thought this was this is a pretty decent ep uh ki kind of left me wishing for more uh so the, the, the song kind of bonkers was was really interesting well, can I say my uh, ahead, experience yeah. with animal collective sure um are we just gonna go track by track with this one since it's only yeah, four sure. songs again okay yeah. uh i've enjoyed animal collective for years Despite me like seeing them come from like the most respected band ever, almost in like 2009-10 or so, uh, to like something meme-worthy, like the 2016 album "Painting With," that's a lot of people have jumped off the Animal Collective bandwagon because of that. But I thought that was an okay album. I didn't and, think it was that bad. You know, I got into yeah, it's not that bad, but um. I got into them via um, Strawberry Jam, the song Peace Bone. I mean, I heard that and it was game over, fall over into the love of Animal Collective. And, you know, other songs like Fireworks, uh, For Reverent Green, and then all of Merryweather Post Pavilion. And even, obviously, like more experimental ones like Centipede Hurts. Now, can I just say the one thing about Painting With I didn't like was. Sure. Uh, was the call and response gimmick they use. They use it like, they started using it a bit earlier on, obviously. I think it's actually a part of most of their music. They've got two great lead vocalists, A.V. Tear and Panda Bear. And obviously, if you've got two vocalists, they want to sin quite a bit. That's why they've got pretty extensive solo careers, actually. And they used to do it like different vocal melodies, and it made it quite dynamic. But on Painting With, there's at least like half the album are just calling to each other in the same monotone voice and this makes it like superfluously superficially catchy it makes like weak songs become like less uh, of weight like i can't even understand some of the lyrics because they're like sun over each other and there's like not one second where there isn't one voice going they're like sending at a normal pace but one of them sins and then the next and I mean, there's quite a bit of that on here, but I only think one song on here uses it to the same level as on Painted With. So I'm happy to see that. I don't know how you feel about that or if I'm like yeah, I, explaining I something. So I think that they had the same problem, but and I think that's on. Uh, are you talking about Peacemaker on this album? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I, I feel like they did that, and it didn't bother me as much as it did for you. But I definitely didn't think it was as, uh -huh. as engaging or as fun as some of their older stuff because the two vocalist dynamic is something that is hard to come by. We see in that in the XS they XX they do it pretty well, but yeah, on, on this album, on this well, EP, sorry, on this EP, it starts off with kind of bonkers, and I I love kind of bonkers. That's a good song. Yeah, this is really good. Uh, it's it catchy. Really it's good. fun. It's choppy. Uh, I think. There's one portion of the song toward the end where he goes, what the fuck is going on? He says that aloud. <laughs> and I'm convinced that he's, he's like, it's, he takes in the aspect of like, he's kind of high or he's like getting high and can't really comprehend what's going on around. Cause it's just so complex. There's like this, there's a Indian, uh, Indian melody going on in the background with the record skipping and what, what, like the ED mini bit, uh, the very beginning, you mean? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, there's also the backing vocal that's like ED ED. That whole bit like is so catchy to me. Yeah, and, and I think, uh, but it's so complex and so just abstract that it, I think he he is and he's putting himself in the mindset like I'm I'm just not sure what's going on anymore. He might be high, he might be drunk or something like that. But I think it's really interesting, really. Yeah. And it kind of fits with like the kind of bonkers, like he's kind of going crazy sort of thing. 
And it's a really cool song. I think that was the, probably my favorite on this album or EP. It wasn't my favorite, but uh, yeah, I really liked it. It took a few listens. I was a bit, uh, this is okay, first listen, but there's so much depth to it, like you say, that you need to listen to it. And the thing I love about this, there's so much energy and different things going on. And yes, there's a lot of overlapping vocals to the point where it seems like they're like the only instrument other than like some drumming, I guess. But it, there are different types of vocals. It's not like the same tone. So it becomes really dynamic and reminds me of the Animal Collective of like even Fields era almost. And uh, obviously there's more under the surface than appears and so much great syncopated vocals. Uh, it's not going to be a classic track of theirs, but I really like it. So, yeah. And it reminded me of Floridada a little bit. I have no idea why. Maybe it's like the same sort of vocal dynamics going on, except probably not as catchy as that song. But, yeah, really good song. Uh, yeah, so the next song, Peacemaker, was probably my least favorite. Uh, I didn't enjoy it. The, 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 the instrumentation was psychedelic, and it really put you in a trance, which is really cool. But... There's a, there's this echoing effect like you were talking about, and the the singers like overlap each other, and it gets to the point where it's almost a headache of trying to understand what's he singing, what's going on. But yeah, the instrumentation like... really does sound great on this record. I think the instrumentation is just fantastic, spot on for this entire project. Yeah, yeah, I've never been uh, opposed to their instrumentation, but it's always been at least good, and. Yeah, this is basically the exact same thing I was talking about, the call and response problem. It's not even an echo, really. I mean, it sounds like one, but it is A.V. Tearson in one thing, then Panda Bears in the next thing, simultaneously after each other, to the point where you don't understand them, because I'm pretty sure it's not like one word's from that guy and one's from the other guy. I think they're saying like two different lyrics at the same time. It sounds jilted, and I'm seriously confused by it. It's only like super firstly catchy. Uh, it's basically the same thing I was saying earlier. Literally vocals to fill space. I feel like. Yeah. So pass for me on that kind of. The next song, Goalkeeper. Now Goalkeeper, it was really interesting. I listened to it two times. And the first time I didn't get it. I right. was just I was just confused like what was going on. It was weird. The second time, the the instrumentation is really upbeat and complex and just stacked but the vocals are really subdued and sound depressed and i may and i didn't get it at first but i think second time through it clicked with me and i i just enjoy that song so much more on this after listening to the second time i just like i was like there has to be more going on this is animal collective we're talking about this is not just some some willy-nilly band this is animal collective they have something going here and I think the second time through, I really understood this song and clicked with me. Don't know what it's about, but it did click with me. Well, a goalkeeper is the... Uh, you know what a goalkeeper is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, a big a soccer goalkeeper, I guess. Or ice hockey, I guess, as well. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know, it just seems to be another energetic song to me, but except it doesn't have the same call and response vocals as Peacemaker. The more double tracked instead, and is pan. I'm pretty sure Panda Bears like got more high pitched vocals than AV Tear, so it's when they use that dynamic that it really works for me. Um, it's still kind of another filler track to me, but it's the sort of type I can at least imagine like being one of the filler tracks on Meriwether Post Pavilion, that sort of thing, like the same quality level as daily routine and or lying in the coma so it's pretty good but uh it's not gonna be one i'm gonna return to very much and then jimmy mac is that's probably my favorite on this uh, on this ep that, that's actually uh that's actually a, a cover yeah of uh martha and the vandellas like a girl group uh a song from the 60s one of my friends uh, was seeing animal collective live and he was saying, oh my god, Jimmy Mac uh, uh, was so good. It's the highlight of the show. And I'm thinking, Jimmy Mac, is that a new song? Because I was aware of the old 60s girl group version. But I could not imagine that being like a cover or being the best song. Or like a highlight. But apparently it's even more energetic and crazy live. And this has been played live for all of 2016, I'm pretty sure. 
and this is the real revelation of the EP for me. I don't know about you, but oh man, this is like so surprising. I think this is actually the best song they've made in the 2010s, other than maybe just Golden Gal. I'm not, I'm not, I love it that much. I'm not even joking. I just, I'm amazed by it. He screams like he used to in like a, a decade ago, AV Tear. And just because he's sinning coherent lyrics like i can understand them like i understood some of kind of bonkers but and goalkeeper but some of this i just did not get the lyrics and uh is it better than the original probably not but you know it's a great reinvention and as far as covers go uh this is as good as i can hope for for a cover reinventing an old one and i think this brings new life to animal collective almost to me i i want them to make a covers album because of this <laughs> I think they can do it. I think they they have the the skill to definitely do it. Yeah. What would you rate it, Alex? The CP. I mean, it's three really good songs and one okay one. It's Animal Collective. Uh, we're all gonna love it, basically, if you're a fan of Animal Collective. And I even think these four songs are better than most of any four song choices you can make from Painted With, other than maybe. Uh, Florida uh, and Golden Gal. This is probably better than most of that. So I'm going to give it seven. You know, solid set of songs. Probably not one of their best EPs, but solid work here, I'd say. Yeah, I I'm also going to give it a seven. I think that this shows that what they're, go they're going back to what they do best, and I'm glad that they're going back in this direction. They're still keeping it unique and interesting by experimenting a little bit, but I'm, I'm glad, and I think that whatever the next album is, is gonna be, and as long as they keep a similar sound of this, it's gonna be a good album. Back to good old Animal Collective. Well, yeah. Thanks for tuning in to Bus Speakers. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Check out some of our other videos. We have tons of videos for all of all different music genres. And check us out on social media.